In today's video, we'll be covering all the latest news of the brand new AirPods Pro 2, more information about AirPods Max, as well as the latest news and leaks that we expect to see on the next generation Apple Watch, the Apple Watch Series 8, more leaks and information about the rugged edition Apple Watch, and the possibility that the SE 2 will also be released. All that and more in today's video. Let's go ahead and get started. So yes, you heard me right. The second generation of the AirPods Pro will be coming out later on this fall and they will support the loose playback for the first time. All these leaks and rumors are all coming from Bloomberg by Mark Gurman and the price for the second generation AirPods Pro should be no different than the current price tag that the AirPods Pro retail for. So about $249. Now, unfortunately, there's no leak or information regarding around its design. So what may possibly end up happening is just like we first witnessed was the first generation AirPods and then the second generation AirPods then got released. It's just the internal where you'll see the improvements on the AirPods too. So we may end up seeing this exact same thing with the AirPods Pro where internally on the second generation we'll get newly improved sensors, better battery, and exclusive software features. Now German didn't just stop there. German also gave us additional information about the AirPods Max what they're going to receive this year. Unfortunately, they're not going to get redesigned or we're not going to go ahead and see the next generation AirPod Max. But what we may end up seeing is, well, he reports we're going to go ahead and see additional colors get added for the AirPods Max. So the very similar thing what Apple did was the HomePod Mini, where originally they were only available in two color choices, black and white. I know the AirPods come available in additional colors, but we may see the new orange get added and possibly a blue. So we're just gonna receive additional colors for the AirPods Max. Now in terms of Series 8 and watchOS 9 news, we have this. Rumor has it, it's gonna feature a new body temperature sensor, but there's a kicker. Because according to German on this article, he previously reported that the Apple Watch would likely gain a skin temperature sensor, but that it will only be used for fertility tracking. In addition to this, German also claimed that Apple is indeed working on its way to monitor body temperature, but he doesn't expect this feature to be ready in the fall. So by the sound of things, it sounds like this will be a feature that will come available for the Series 8, but later on down the line, it will be used for not just fertility tracking, but monitor overall body temperature later on. And if we continue reading this article, he also states the Apple Watch Series 8 is expected to arrive in September alongside the new generation, well, the, the new Apple Watch SE got carried away there. The flagship watch is expected to gain a new size as well as a rugged option and a possibility of a low power mode as a part of watchOS 9. So what it sounds like there is yes, he's talking about the second generation Apple Watch SE as well as the rugged edition Apple Watch. Unfortunately, unlike the earlier rumors we were hearing first at the beginning of this year as well as some of the rumors we were receiving in the late of last year there's no mention of touch id coming to the apple watch as well as a solid state power slash wake button so by the sounds of things it looks like the series 8 it's going to resemble the same body structure as the series 7 with those thinner bezels it's going to carry the same design to the series 8 aside from that new sensor they did mention a new low power mode making its way on watch os 8 this could mean two things the low power mode, this new low power mode that's talking about can be very similar to the LTPO hardware, the always on display. That's only available on the Series 5 and newer Apple Watch, excluding the SE, because it has that hardware to do so. This low power mode, hopefully it's not the case, but may likely happen, is currently, if you enable low power mode, all you are left with is a clock. So basically it turns your smartwatch into a watch. This allows the watch to reserve as much power as possible, about a week worth of charge, since it's only displaying the time but with this new low power mode should allow us to continue to have some made smartwatch features while still be able to have that one week of charge but this could be a new ship that's going to be integrated in the cpu that will allow this watch to accomplish such energy efficiency in other words the new low power mode may just be a hardware feature that's only coming out internally inside the SE2, the Series 8, and that rugged edition Apple Watch. So that may be something we'll be expecting to see. But if that's the case, technically the Apple Watch may finally be able to achieve that one week battery life. Now as for the rugged edition Apple Watch, so Mark Gurman as well as Michiko have stated 
countless times that a rugged edition Apple Watch is coming. Now, we still are left unsure if it will look more like a G-Shock watch, but very recently, Zone of Tech, Daniel and his team, they made this very interesting render, which actually supports the previous leaks and images that we've been seeing all last year when we were expecting the newly redesigned Series 7, the one with the flat screen design that I could definitely see be a high possibility. Now in his render, he gave the Apple Watch a rubber-like texture exterior. This not only allows the watch to be more durable if it makes contact against a wall or a foreign object instead of receiving a dent or a scratch, of course, a rugged plastic is extremely more durable. So what may end up happening here is we will see a Series 8 and it's very likely it's gonna continue the same body design that we've seen on the newly redesigned Series 7 because it doesn't make sense. So far, Apple, what they have been doing with, with the Apple Watch lineup is every four years, they'll actually redesign the Apple Watch. Because if we pause and look back, the Series 0 all the way to the Series 3 stayed the same. It was until the Series 4 all the way to the Series 6 was when Apple and that design. And now we're into the new generation, the new design body, the Series 7. We probably won't see a new redesign until four generations down the line. If this rugged version Apple Watch were to come out, it's very likely it will have this design. So we may see a Series 8, the rugged edition Apple Watch with that flat screen design, and then of course we'll see the SE, second generation. And in terms of feature, the rugged should follow the same features we expect to find inside the Series 8 in the new rugged design body. So this is something we may end up happening. And I really hope so too. Now, when I was doing research on this video, something interesting popped up. So very recently, Minchi Kuo made an interesting statement saying that the Series 7 was supposed to have the new body temperature sensor, but there were some challenges that Apple experienced, so they postponed this, which is why we're gonna go ahead and finally see it on the Series 8. And then as for the glucose monitoring sensor, this hardware was also facing issues, so we probably won't see this until further down the line, as well as the blood pressure monitoring. We won't see this until 2024, according to this article and many others. These three features are constantly hitting challenges, according to Bloomberg and many other sources. Now the Apple Watch SE, honestly, it's basically a Series 4 without the ECG. And it was my favorite Apple Watch for the longest time because, and still currently is, because when you compare it against the latest generation Apple Watch, its overall performance is identical as it still had the same performance chipset that was found inside the Series 5, Series 6. It was just a good smartwatch without ECG, no always on display, nor the blood oxygen monitoring sensor, but it did everything else extremely well. So with that said, what may end up happening for the next generation Apple Watch SE 2, we may finally see always on display be integrated on it, but it still is left unsure if we're gonna go ahead and see the Series 7 body design for the SE 2, or if it's still gonna continue that same previous design. That is still is left a mystery. Aside from that, that is basically all the important things that we know so far about the next generation Apple products are expected to come out and be unveiled this upcoming fall. But again, all these are just rumors and leaks, so the possibility of this being true or not, it's almost like a 50-50, especially what we saw last year. So comment down below, let me know in the comment section if you think some of these things are real, or some of these, that's probably gonna be postponed for another year or two until everything is right. Aside from that, links to all sources, as well as Zone of Tech YouTube channel, that the video I was referencing to, will be all linked in the video description down below. Now, if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Greatly appreciate if you guys leave this video a like, as those help me out a lot, and get subscribed, especially if you enjoy a lot of tech videos just like this. I basically cover basically everything from news to product reviews and some interesting tips and tricks you could do with that x said product so make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss those if you'd like to watch more check out this video over here as i go through every hidden feature and some cool tips and tricks i bet you didn't know that you could do with a pair of airpods pro and then that video over there that is just a video youtube is recommending specifically for you thank you so much for watching take care and i'll catch you all in the next one see ya